Okay, so um, this is another set, another video with another set of examples from the basic math techniques um, that are from your textbook, The Basic Laboratory Methods for Biotech, second edition by Seidman and Moore. And this video deals with the, the sample problems on percents. So um, the question at the top of page 234 says, show two strategies to convert the fraction 34 67th into a percent. And the first strategy is the kind of a proportional thing, 34 67th to what, 100, because we want to take this to 100 uh, if we're doing percentages. So we're going to, all right, cross multiply. So we get 34 times 100 okay, is equal to 67 times our unknown. So 34 times 100 over 67 is equal to our question mark. And then that's right. So let's pop our calculator. All right, Oops. get back up here and solve that. 34 right, times 100, right? This was 30, whoops, 3400 divided by 67. get them both up there at the same time, divided by 67 equals 50.7 percent. And that is strategy one. I'm just going to go to the side of it here and do strategy two, so we just take 34 divided by 67, which is going to equal to 0 0.507, and so then we, then we have to multiply by 100, and it equals 50.7. Percent. So if you just divide the fraction, take the fractional form, and do your division and multiply by 100, right, then you're going to get the percent. So this is two strategies to convert that um, fractional form into a percent. Okay. So here's their question. It says a laboratory solution is composed of water and ethylene glycol. How could you prepare 500 ml of a 30% ethylene glycol solution? So strategy one, right? 30% 30 is 30, 100. So I'll keep saying this when you're doing the percent, take it to 100. So 30% is 30 of 100, All right? So if you were 30 ml, if it were 100 ml, is how much do you need if it's 500 mil? So we can cross multiply, right? And say 30 times 500 mil is equal to, right, times 100. So if we do 30 times 500 over 100, oops, in this case, males, right? then that's equal to 15,000 males over 100, right? Or 150 milliliters. 
right, with percents, the other strategy we can use is just multiply by the decimal form of 30 percent. So we have 30 percent, its decimal form is 0 0.30. So in this case, if we want 500 mils at 30 percent, and we multiply by 0 0.30, and we get 150 mils. So if we're making that 500 mils, we'll have 150 mils of ethylene glycol, and then we'll bring it to volume with 350 mils of water. I want to do a variant on that of making up a solution um, of, a, of a dry, of a powder, rather than ethylene glycol, which is a liquid that you're going to do the um, two mils. I'm going to look at making a 20 percent weight to volume uh, solution. And let's say that we want um, um, to make up 500 mils of a 20 percent weight to volume. So we can do it the same way with strategy one if we're going 20 per 100. It's supposed to be a one. It's 20 to 100 is how much? To 500. So we do the same thing 20 times 500, if you divide it by the 100, is equal to a question mark. So we'd have 10,000 over 100 or 100 grams, right? Strategy two, same kind of thing, 500 mil times 0 0.2. It's going to give us 100 grams. So we've got the same number, 100, 100 grams. Now, but now we're making a solution weight to volume, and we've decided that we need 100 grams of our solute, uh, and you know, and so we want 500 mils of solution. Um, the thing is, we can't just add. We cannot add 100 grams. To 500 mils because that 100 grams has some volume itself. So we're going to have to dissolve the 100 grams in a partial volume, right? 100 grams, and then we're going to have to then bring to volume of 500 mL. So if we want our final volume to be 500 mL, um, and so we have to dissolve that liquid in some volume less than 500 and then bring it to volume. Okay, let's carry on right, um, with um, one of their other um, sample problems, and um, which is the one on page 233 um, uh, about percents and the human genome. Okay, so here's that question, and see if I can get it about where I want it here. And th there are actually three uh, questions in, um, in this. So the, the first question, okay, it gives us some information, and then it asks us the first question. It says there are about three times 10 to the ninth DNA base pairs, the BP is an abbreviation for base pairs, in the human genome. Human chromosome 21 contains about 2% of the human genome. About how many base pairs comprise chromosome 21? So here's our two methodologies, 2%, 2 to 100 is equal to how many base pairs, right? out of 3 times 10 to the ninth 
interspace pairs. All right, so 2 times 3 times 10 to the ninth is equal to 100 times question mark, or 2 times 3 times 10 to the ninth divided by 100 is equal to our question mark, right? And so that is equal to 6 times 10 to the ninth divided by 100, which is equal to 6 times 10 to the 7th. Okay. Or using the decimal form of the percentage, we can say, right, 3 times 10 to the ninth base pairs right, times 2% in the decimal form, 0 0.02, is equal to 6 times 10 to the 7th base pairs. So, two ways on working percentages. Um, you can always do the proportion, taking it to 100, or if you're comfortable with the decimal, using the decimal form, right, you can do that as well. Okay, so part B. The goal of the Human Genome Project was to find the base pair sequence of the entire human genome. If chromosome 21 is sequenced, and if the techniques are correct 99.9% .9 of the time, how many base pairs determined will be incorrect? So first you look at if it's correct 100% of the time, okay, we need to subtract 99.9% .9 to determine what percent were incorrect. So that's 0.1% incorrect. Right. So, if the 0.1% are incorrect, right, and the gen genome is 6 times, or the, the base pairs in chromosome 21, we determined to be 6 times 10 to the 7th base pairs, Right. then the incorrect is going to be times the decimal form of 1%, which is 0, 0, 001. Right. So that will give us 6 times 10 to the 4th incorrect. So here's part three. Approximately one out of every 700 babies born has an extra copy of chromosome 21. Such children have Down syndrome, which is associated with mental retardation and heart disease. About what percent of all children are born with Down syndrome? Okay. So it's saying one in 700 have it so it wants to know is equal to what percent. So once again, two m methods, right? We can say one of 700 is how many question, how many of 100, right? And so we can say 1 times 100 is equal to 700 times question. Remember, we're cross multiplying. All right? So we're going to divide both sides. Oops. All right, 1 by 700 is equal to question mark 
So 100 divided by 700 is equal to 0 0.1. Four, two, point one or two percent. Or when you say one out of seven hundred, divide that to give us zero zero one four two, right? And move the decimal two places to change that to the percentage form. So we get zero point one four two percent. So there again, those are some sample forms. They're done. They're uh, in the text. They have even worked through it. Um, I just put these videos together to kind of talk about, uh, put a voice uh, behind those problems, talk about the strategies involved in these. And so, you know, look at these, get comfortable with them, work the samples, work the samples. The answers are in the back of the book to check your work. The, the more of these you work, the more comfortable you'll become. Uh, thanks for listening.